So it's, it's actually a very exciting time in the space of lung regeneration right now with a, a number of technologies that have really leapt forward in the last couple of years and have really made it a, a potential clinical reality that you really might be able to take cells from a patient, use things like decellularized matrices in order to be able to repopulate a lung matrix and really build an, an artificial or new lung for someone. Now, that's obviously all at a research stage right now, but what was really science fiction, you know, going back four or five years ago, there's now a number of, of individual pieces of technology that when you bring those together have really made the potential to be able to build new lungs artificially, um, a potential clinical reality. So if you look at the hundreds of thousands of patients that currently have end-stage lung disease just in the United States alone, let alone many fold greater number throughout the world, there's a large number of people that really are not candidates for lung transplantation or other potential therapies, of which a very small number might actually be candidates for that don't really have any other treatment options. Um, if you look at the whole population of people dying of lung cancer in the United States every year, there's almost 180 to 190,000 people every year that are going to die of that disease. So, so the potential to be able to build new lung tissue, whether it's a whole lung, whether it's parts of a lung, whether it's to just make an existing lung that isn't working well work better, um, there's a huge unmet patient need here in terms of people that are either suffering or either, either dying also from these diseases where these technologies could potentially be implied. It's a very exciting time. There's obviously a lot of work that needs to be done in order to really translate these technologies into something that's useful for patient care. Um, but the future is very bright, and there's, there's obvious uh, progress here where you can envision this being a clinical reality, where going back even five years ago or more, it was really just science fiction at that point.